I'm going to share with you guys a, uh, a series from the Open Guard that uh, I've gotten a lot of mileage out of. Uh, I've been working on it for a couple years and I, it's, it's been really, really helpful. Pretty simple. Um, and so there's three main variations I'm going to share with you. Okay, um, so where we're going to start is my favorite Open Guard, which is basically just a simple, basic foot in the hip position. Okay, so I'm holding onto the collar here. My foot's in the hip, my leg's almost all the way extended here, and this foot in the bicep. I love this, the series is from, from this position, but the better, that you, better guy you go against, the better they are at protecting their hip, okay? So this is a good follow-up. So what happens quite often is they're gonna use that elbow and they're gonna peel that foot off. They're gonna protect their hip, okay? Now what a lot of people will do is transition into a daily heba. Nothing wrong with the daily heave at all, but I really want that foot back. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, when he pushes that off, I'm gonna grab the foot here. Most of the time they're gonna stuff this leg anyway, so I'm gonna keep my feet crossed, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I wanna make sure this knee stays out, but I'm gonna keep this leg as high on the knee as I can, and now I'm gonna extend. I stretch that leg out. So even if they're trying to protect their hip, like right here, I can't get the foot in the hip, but if I extend, a lot of times I'm gonna be able to get that foot right back into the hip, and then we go for a basic foot in the hip sweep, okay? Now, if you get the resistance, this is surprisingly strong. It's very difficult sometimes for them to stop this, but when they do, they're driving in very, very hard. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna change course here. As they, they start to come this way and I start losing ground, I'm gonna extend my legs. Like I'm basically kicking him in his butt here, all right? And I'm pulling him to this direction, okay? So how we're gonna finish that is I'm gonna, I'm gonna extend, pull, they step, this hand comes off the collar, I grab the leg, I keep my feet crossed, this foot is off the floor. You guys can't see it from here, but his foot is off the floor. I catch this foot, I swing my legs down, I wrap around, and I come up for the takedown here, okay? So, the last variation is, uh, is also very common. I don't typically like going underneath the legs, like deep halves and things like this, but I make an exception on this case, okay? so. What we're gonna do now is if they change this angle here and they cut and they drop this hip down this way, okay? The second I lose this angle, I have to change. Now I'm still holding on to the foot, but if I hang on too long, he's gonna strip that grip and pass. Yeah, okay? So this is my indicator. As soon as I lose this angle here, I drop this foot to the floor. I keep this hook here. I still have a hold of his foot. I turn my hips back underneath, right? with this foot lifting here. Now I'm gonna come underneath this leg. I lift him up, bring that foot off the floor, swim under, grab my own shin, and now we drive forward like this, okay? Now you can finish that sweep in a lot of different ways, but um, you're basically gonna end up on top, okay? So it's, uh, I believe they call that last one the waiter sweep. I, I've heard that term used. I don't know, I'm terrible with terminology, so forgive me. Um, but I've gotten a lot of mileage out of it. Hopefully it helps you guys. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you soon.